guys, welcome to the compare instruction video. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain how to use all the compare instructions. Now compare is just a basic math instruction. Uh, remember we did those probably in like middle school, maybe even actually like second, third grade. If you wanna find these instructions, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here, you're gonna click over to the side until you see the compare. Now we're gonna be working with these last six here. The first two I'm gonna go over with you guys in a later later in this module or later in a later class, okay? Um, but the ones we're gonna do is just equal, not equal, less than, greater than, and then less than or equal, or greater than or equal, okay? And we're gonna try to work with all these. This is very basic stuff. These are just some instructions. Now I am online right now because I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a reminder of a count up, count down system. So what's gonna happen is when the limit switches are pressed, we're gonna be going up, okay? See how this accumulate, this limit switch gets pressed, it goes down. Basic count up, count down circuit. I think we did these in module five. So this is your refresher. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this now and we are going to start using them with our, uh, our compare instructions here, okay? So I'm gonna go offline and go offline. And what I've done is I've already put together all these things so we can just talk about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste these back in. I wanna say I just hit this button. Yep, okay, I'm gonna delete this last rung. It always adds in this last rung. And all I've done is I've taken my e, all my compares and I've thrown them in here. Notice that they are on the left side. These are instructions. So they're gonna do a math problem and if the math problem is correct, or is done, it will make the rung true and it would turn on a light over here, okay? Now, before I get too far in there, I just wanna go over another basic concept of the move instruction. We've already done some move instructions, um, but what I'm doing is I'm taking my accumulation right here, the accumulation from my count up and my count down, and I'm putting it into an N7 file. So now it's over here in my N70, okay? I'm gonna close that one because this isn't really, this is something we did before. Again, this is your refresher, okay? If you need help with that, please let me know. Love to go over it. Or please go back into like, I think maybe two videos ago and look that up, okay? So what's gonna happen is I've went ahead and I put a number here. I've just put a one in all of these. And we're gonna say it's gonna figure out, it's gonna take source A and it's gonna compare it to source B. Would it be possible for you to hook a counter up to source B, like we've done to source A? Absolutely. Would it be possible to hook you know, multiple counters up to that? Yeah, would it be possible to manually put a number in here? Yeah, look, I just changed it to a four. We can even do that as we're going along in this video. I'm going to be doing that quite a bit. Could we hook it to a num an N7? Yeah, we could hook it to another N7 with more moves. There's a bunch of options. We could even hook it to an analog, um, an analog input. An analog input will just be a range of numbers um, depending on what type of analog input we're, we're using. So let's go ahead and download this and I'm gonna show you how each one is working, okay? All right. Now, most of my, I have just went and hooked it up to a bunch of lights. I think they're actually, some of them are actually contactors, so you might be hearing the contactors go on and off in the background, okay? So this one is, this very first one, let me try to get my mouse out of here. We'll go over here. This very first one on rung three, what it's doing is it is comparing source A to source B and it's figuring out if they are equal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start counting up my, my counter here and you're gonna see that source A now equals four, source B is four, and it is going to create a path of true turning on my light right here, okay? Very simple, very easy to use. Um, this might be when there are five trucks in a loading dock, it's gonna, if it's gonna count them all up, and it's gonna start a program that fills those trucks, okay? It's just an equals, all right? This next one, I always have to go up here and look again. This one is a not equals. So source A is four, but source B is one. It is not equal right now, and it is creating a path of true, all right? So maybe if, like, let's take that same scenario. If I had a trucks, I had trucks going into a loading dock and it was counting them, 
and there was only three trucks in there and I wanted four, we could have a, a red light on saying it's they're not there. Or we could have a siren going on saying that trucks will be moving in and out of this location. Um, there, we could use this one in different ways, okay? So this one will be, as soon as this hits four, this one will no longer be, or hit, sorry, hits one, this one would no longer be true while this one up here would be true, okay? They're just, this one's equal, this one's there, not equal. Now we're, now we're gonna start getting into our less than or greater than. Again, these are just basic math instructions. So what, if you remember this little alligator symbol here, it's if A is less than B is what they're saying, then it's going to make the rung true. So if A is four right now, if it was less than one, and let's change this one to like a 10. Oh, maybe I can't change these while we're operating. Huh, I thought we could. Um, if le is less than that number, like can, it will turn on a light. So I can actually count it down. We're gonna count down and all of a sudden it is, it's uh, less than B, okay? So now that it's less than, I'm sorry, didn't say that. I was moving a little bit faster. I was talking faster than I was moving. Um, now it's zero, the B is one, or the source B is one, so the rung is now true and my light is on, all right? If we go down here, it's gonna be the opposite when it's greater than B. So when A is greater than B, and I'm gonna count up with my A, as soon as I do that, it's going to go and it's going to see that the light is on. So source A is greater than source B. We're gonna have then, we got some less than and greater than. So if A is less than or equal to B. So if I go ahead and we'll count down really quick. So right now it's equal to, it's equal to B. If I keep going down, it's less than, so it's still on, okay? These ones are gonna get a little bit more tricky. You're gonna have a lot of times where it's gonna be a less than or greater than situation where you're gonna, you're gonna need the, both of these. So this one would be, if A is greater than or equal to B, it would turn on. So if A is greater, when we count up, it's gonna flip that on and it's gonna stay on, okay? So that's pretty much the gist of these comparison or um, instructions. We're gonna do some stuff where I'm gonna make you think about how we can use these with a set of counters. And we're gonna be going through those greater than or compares uh, quite a bit. And you're gonna use these quite a bit throughout um, programming. I hope this video wasn't confusing because I do have all of these compares just laid out here for you. Um, but I want you to you know, play around with it. We're gonna do some easy ones first and you're gonna find that they are pretty simple, okay? So go ahead and let's move on to the first activity. Let me know if you guys need help. Good luck.